15 exercises to get in shape in two weeks. Do you already have the body of your dreams or are you still on the way to it? Do you feel it's high time for you to start exercising? We at Brightside want to encourage you to begin working on your dream body today. So, shall we start? Let's try these 15 simple exercises. Don't stop watching while performing the exercises. We'll count. Exercise number 15, side lateral raise. Stand with a straight torso and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Put your legs together. Hold the dumbbells by your side at arm's length with the palms of the hands facing inwards. Slightly bend the elbows and lift the dumbbells. The highest point is at shoulder level. Maintain the torso in a stationary position. Exhale as you lift the hands up. If you don't have ordinary workout dumbbells, you can use small bottles of water instead. Let's try to do it. For a start, you should do almost each exercise for 30 seconds. Here is your half minute. Start every workout with a 15 to 20 minute warm up session. It prepares your body muscles for the upcoming exercises, which helps avoid injuries. Shoulder and arm workouts will help you create lean biceps, traps, anterior and middle heads of the deltoids. These groups of muscles support cervical vertebrae and therefore negate the main effect of office worker disease, osteochondrosis. Only a few seconds left. Three, two, one. Well done. Let's move on to the next one. Exercise number 14, dumbbell bicep curl. Stand with a straight torso and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your feet together, hold your weights and lift your elbows. Squeeze. Maintain the torso in a stationary position. Exhale as you lift the weights. Let's start. Here's another half minute. This exercise has basic movements, but very high effectiveness. It will help your shoulders and arms look accurate and fit. If you perform this exercise on a regular basis, you will see great changes in your body in a couple of weeks. Three, two, one, done. It wasn't that hard, was it? Ready for the next exercise? Exercise number 13, alternating arms. Lie down and keep your knees in a half bent position. Take the weights and alternate arms. Make sure your weights don't touch the floor. One palm is facing down, the other one is facing up. Exhale and inhale freely while alternating arms. Lie down with your knees half bent. This exercise takes about 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Did you know that people tend to guess the age of a woman by judging the state of her neck and chest area? This set of exercises will help to tone your chest muscles effectively and quickly. Good job. Shall we move on? Exercise 12, dumbbell press and dumbbell fly. Lie down and keep your knees in a half bent position. Take your dumbbells, perform a dumbbell press with one arm and a dumbbell fly with the other one. Alternate arms. And when you're done with one set, change hands and repeat. Exhale when lifting your hand. As usual, you have 30 seconds to accomplish the exercise Take your time and control your breathing. Take your dumbbells, perform a dumbbell press with one arm and a dumbbell fly with the other one. Alternate arms, left, right, left, right. Great! Can you already feel the difference? Ready for the next one? Exercise number 11, 
Dumbbell bent over row. Place one leg on a chair, bend your torso forward and place your hand on the chair for support. Your upper body is parallel to the floor. Look straight down. Pull your weight straight up to the side of your chest, keeping your arm close to your side and keeping the torso stationary. Lower the weight straight down to the starting position. Exhale as you pull the weights up. Here are your 30 seconds. Let's start. Include these exercises in your workout to prevent problems with your spine and posture. Performing this set of exercises, such as dumbbell rows and swings, will keep your back young and healthy. Yes! You did it! Tired? Shall we continue? Exercise number 10, lunge dumbbell row. Perform a lunge and place one arm on the leg. Make sure your back is straight. Look straight down. Pull your weights straight up to the side of your chest, keeping your upper arm close to your side and keeping the torso stationary. Lower the weights straight down to the starting position. Exhale as you pull the weights up. Your 30 seconds started. Remember that if you start feeling exhausted, you can always pause the video and take a break. Keep in mind that correct breathing is important. There you are, perfect. Exercise number nine, dumbbell swing on the floor. Get on all fours with one dumbbell in your hand. Your upper body is parallel to the floor. Look straight down. Pull your dumbbell to the side of your chest with your elbow slightly bent and with your palm facing the floor. Exhale when performing a swing. Your next 30 seconds have started. This is the last exercise for your back muscles. If you feel any tension in your back, you should immediately stop it. How are you doing there? Remember that it's possible to make great progress exercising independently without a personal trainer. Probably this one was a little tough, huh? Great. Need exercise. Exercise number eight, crunches. Lie on the floor with your back flat and knees bent. Put your hands beside your head, look straight in front of you, and make sure your chin doesn't touch the chest area. Curl your upper body forward and bring your shoulder blades just off the floor. Exhale as you perform the crunch. Ready, set, go. Now it's time to get rid of the belly fat. If you feel insecure about your abdominal muscles, these classic exercises will be of great help. A couple of minutes a day, and soon you'll be able to show off your great abs. Sweating? It's actually good. Take a deep breath and continue. Exercise number seven, leg raises. Lie on the floor with your back flat and your legs extended in front of you. Place your hands under your glutes with your palms down. Raise and lower your legs without touching the floor. Exhale as you raise your legs. Here's another half minute. We all know this exercise well. It's probably the hardest to perform, but we bet you will like the result. You okay over there? Cool. Three, two, one, done. You're amazing. Ready to continue? 
Exercise number six, three quarter sit ups. Lie on the floor with your back flat and knees bent. Keep your hands in front of you. Look straight in front of you and make sure your chin doesn't touch the chest area. Raise your torso towards your knees and exhale. Take the initial position and go. This one is also not easy. Let's see how you can do it. Make sure you're doing the exercise properly. This is the exercise of very high effectiveness. However, if you feel any pain in your back, stop it and move on to the next exercise. But we're sure you're okay and enjoying it, aren't you? Now, how tired are you on a scale of one to 10? It's time for the next exercise. Exercise number five. Air bike. Lie on the floor with your back flat. Put your hands beside your head. Make sure your chin doesn't touch the chest area. Perform a cycle pedal motion, kicking forward with one leg and bringing in the knee of the other leg. Bring your right elbow close to your left knee by crunching to the side. Don't touch the floor. Exhale as you change legs. Shall we start? That is another widespread exercise. We all remember it from our childhood. Imagine as if you're riding a bike. Do you like to ride a bike, by the way? Don't touch the floor. Well done. We only have several exercises left. Here's the next one. Exercise number four, jump lunge. Stand with a straight torso. Use your arms to assist in performing a jump. Look straight in front of you. When performing lunges, make sure your knees stay behind your feet. Make sure the back standing leg leans on the foot. Exhale as you land. Ready to jump? This exercise requires 15 seconds only. One, two, start. You're doing great. Do you remember about the proper breathing? Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Only a few seconds left. Three, two, one. You did it. We bet you're already exhausted. Or are you not? Exercise number three. Bent over leg swings. Place your hands on a chair for support. Keep your back straight. Look straight down. Swing your leg up until it's parallel to the floor. Keep the torso stationary. Exhale as you raise your leg. Well, this one's a little easier. Can you do it 10 times? Start now. Legs and buttocks are probably the most important part of the body. Losing weight in such problem areas as the legs, buttocks, and hips is the most popular issue in women's fitness. The beginner level exercises like jumps, swings, and squats are pretty effective. Perfect, we're almost there. Just a couple more exercises. Exercise number two. Squat and reverse side lunges. Stand with a straight torso. Keep your arms in front of you. When performing squats, make sure your knees stay aligned with the feet. When performing lunges, your leg goes backward and sideward. Your knees don't touch the floor. Exhale as you finish one squat and one lunge. Can you do this one 10 times as well? We know you can. As you advance, you can include more complicated techniques and heavier weights in your workout programs. These exercises are great for your hamstrings, quads, the muscles which unbend the knee joint, and glutes. Plus, they train your whole body so do include them in your daily workout. You're great. Exercise number one, kneel to stand. Emphasis on the heel when lifting. Keep the dumbbells fixed on the shoulders. Keep the torso straight. Keep your knees in a half bent position all the time. Return to the starting position with a leg that started the exercise. Exhale as you stand up. You should do it at least 10 times as well. Go. 
As soon as your body is used to the optimal amount of exercise for different groups of muscles, you can switch to the whole body workout programs. Keep up your hard work, be proud of every new achievement, and stay positive and motivated. There you are. Perfect. Do you know any other useful exercises? Share them together with your results in the comments. And please, hit the like button below the video.